Lake Corpus Christi State Park is situated 35 miles northwest of the coastal city of Corpus Christi in South Texas. This 365-acre park, located along the southeastern corner of Lake Corpus Christi, protects one of the few remaining stands of Tamalapan brush land in the United States. The Longhorn Trail leads to a large bird feeding area. This is an excellent place to look for several regional species. The bird blind, made possible by the Coastal Bend Audubon Society, enables one to view and photograph birds without disturbing them. The Audubon Oriole, formerly known as the Black-Headed Oriole, is a Mexican species that barely extends its range into the United States, where it is restricted to South Texas. It is a rather shy bird and can easily be overlooked as it typically forages in dense vegetation. The Northern Cardinal is a familiar bird across much of the eastern United States. In fact, it is so familiar it has been designated the official bird of seven eastern states. The unmistakable brilliant red male has a distinct crest, thick red bill, and black face. The crest can be raised when agitated or lowered when resting. The less distinctive female is paler brown but also has a distinct crest and reddish bill. If you want to see the large and unmistakable green jay in the United States, you will have to visit South Texas. This tropical species is a year-round resident at the bird feeding area and often travels in small groups. Restricted to the bushlands of South Texas and Eastern Mexico, the long-billed thrasher has a long tail and slightly curved bill. Its population has been steadily declining due to its habitat being cleared for agricultural use. Compared to most of its relatives, the orange crown wobbler is a fairly drab wobbler. Even its orange crown is rarely visible except for when it may become agitated or excited. Its olive plumage help it blend in with its preferred habitats of bushy woodlands, forest edges, and thickets. A more obvious and vocal bird is the great-tailed grackle. It ranges across the southern United States and has greatly expanded its range northward following the spread of agricultural and land development. Similar looking to the tufted titmouse of eastern United States, the black crested titmouse has a very limited range that is mainly restricted to Texas and northeastern Mexico. It was once considered a subspecies of the tufted titmouse. The olive sparrow is a secretive bird that scratches at leaf litter concealed by dense understory. It can often be located by the sounds of leaf scratching and its soft ticking call notes. In the United States, the olive sparrow occurs only in South Texas. Other birds that can be found include white-eyed vario, white-tipped dove, golden-fronted woodpecker, and Lincoln sparrow.
Located near the bird feeding area is Old Park Pavilion. Built by the Civilian Conservation Corp in the 1930s, this historic building is a popular setting for weddings and offers incredible views of Lake Corpus Christi. Driving around the lakeshore will offer a different set of birds from the bird feeding area. Good areas to look for birds are the open areas of the campgrounds and along the lakeshore itself. Widespread throughout much of the Americas, the black vulture can be found in flocks foraging in areas of open country near wooded areas. It is often found in association with the more numerous turkey vulture. The black vulture relies on the turkey vulture for its more developed sense of smell to find carcasses. The red shoulder hawk is a common winter visitor to Lake Corpus Christi. It usually hunts by watching from a perch for small mammals, amphibians, reptiles, and small birds. Its black and white barred tail is distinctive in flight. The long-billed curlew is a very large shorebird with long legs and a very distinctive long curved bill. It uses its long bill to probe for earthworms and other bugs buried in grassy fields. It also can be found along mud flats, where it will feed on shrimp, crayfish, and crabs. During the late 1800s, the great egret and other large wading birds suffered tragic losses and almost became extinct. The reason was that Victorian ladies would adorn their hats with the elegant plumes from the nesting birds that had been shot on the rookeries. The adults were slaughtered by the millions and the young were left to die. Thankfully, since legislation was enacted in the early 1900s to outlaw the plume trade, the great egret and other wading birds rebounded. Although the white ibis may appear entirely white, a closer look reveals a long red curved bill and long red legs. It also has black wing tips which are more easily seen in flight. This year-round resident along the Texas Gulf Coast typically wades in shallow water probing or sweeping its distinct bill. The American avocet is unusual in that it has a long upturned bill. The male has a slightly longer, straighter bill than the female. This particular individual is in winter plumage. Summer birds have a pale cinnamon head and neck. American avocet is an uncommon visitor at Lake Corpus Christi State Park. The strikingly vermilion red and brown adult male vermilion flycatcher it's hard to miss as it perches on exposed branches waiting for passing insects to catch in midair. The female is less distinct with its grayish white underparts with faint streaks on its breast. It is a winter resident along the Texas Gulf Coast. Other species that may be seen along Lakeshore Drive may include Eastern Meadowlark, Crested Caracara,
Eastern Bluebird, Forester's Turn, American Kestrel, American Pippet, and Yellow Rumped Wobbler. Welcome back to Advent Nature. If you're new to the channel, I'm Sheila. I'm Tony, and this is our dog Silver. We've spent it's the past three nights at Lake Corpus Christi State Park along the central Gulf Coast of Texas. We spent the mornings photographing birds at the bird's nest shelter area, which is only about 150 yards from the shelter that we are uh, rented. In late mornings and early afternoons, we uh, basically spent our time photographing birds along the shoreline of the lake and around the campgrounds, of which there are several in, in this park. We're going to end this video by showing you the shelter that we rented, which was just over $20 a night, which is a really good deal. You have water situated over here beside your shelter. Comes with the fire ring, picnic table. Comes with the fire extinguisher and a broom so you can clean it before you leave. Some of the other shelters are enclosed. They're like little cabins, they have the glass. Um, we have a place to hang your jackets up. There's two beds. They were separated, we put them together. You do have a light, a plug-in area to charge up your laptops or phones and whatnot. There's a $30 deposit that you do get back at the end of the at the end of your stay. I hope you enjoyed our video. Have a good day and we'll see you on the next one.